Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Just yesterday, I think I made a video on how to make this brown shape. And now the, the person is trying to make this, but they just can't quite grasp. And you can see it's, it would almost trace. But we use the uh, common shapes or basic shapes and use the teardrop. And I'm just going to make it here teardrop. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to start off about that size. And then I'm going to go to effects and contour. But this time I'm going to contour two times. And we're going to get that, well, too big. Um, well, it's not too big if I uh, start off big. Let's make it quite large. That's not too bad. That's pretty, tell you what we're going to do, we're going to go the inside, just like point, uh, we'll go one inch. Let's see what one inch looks like. That's not bad. And the reason for that, I still had that tool in my, the reason for that is we want this interior line. So we're going to go to, and it's not very perfect, but it's, it's good enough for the video. We're going to go to object and break the contour apart. I'm going to set my nudge factor on about eight inches. And I'm going to grab that center line and I'm going to move. Okay, I have to break it apart again or maybe ungroup it. I'm going to put this line back. So by nudging. Now, I really want, you know what? I'm going to have to, I'm going to back this up. And I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to hit. G to group them, P to put it in the center of the page, ungroup them. So now I can grab just this small one and the large one because I this is the one I want. And like I said, that's a that's not a perfect shape, so I'm going to nudge it out of the way twice. Then I'm going to get a two point line and hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then just pick your discretion which one you want. And I am going to delete one side of it. Now, I've this is a reef looking material, kind of like a reef where they're going up. And I'm gonna try to avoid this double, uh, I've done this a lot with reefs. So I'm gonna take the shape tool, I'm gonna add a node right there, and then I'm gonna delete that node. So now I don't have, how, quite the whole shape. I could actually probably do the same to the top, um, but we're good enough. Let's take the line away. I'm just going to hit delete. And then I'm going to make my leaf several ways. I've made several videos on making a leaf. I'm just going to draw an ellipse, go up to object, convert it to a curve, take the shape tool, bring you know, just make it kind of abstract, look like a leaf. Now I'm going to rotate that guy. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button. And I really want them kind of touching, so I'm going to move that in just a little bit. Now I'm going to weld it together. Now I'm going to take the plus key on my keyboard and go up. But I'm going to make this one like... 50% of the other one. Now I can select both these. I'm going to close down the contour docker, go to effect and blend. And let's blend, let's try 20 times. That's going to be a little tight. Let's blend up. And it all depends on your look. I'm going to go 17. And then I'm going to go and put Blend a new path. Blend along, blend along full path and rotate all objects. Nope, didn't work. So what I need to do really to make this work, I've run into this problem before. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. Now I'm going to blend them. Doesn't, doesn't really understand why, but it, it does make a difference. Blend along full path and rotate all objects. Huh. It's just the opposite of what I want. So let me uh, 
let me mirror this the other way. There's always a rhyme to reason. Maybe if you worked on the other side, it would work better. We've already got a blend. Um, blend along full new path. Blend along full path and rotate all objects. Wow. You know what? Let me try this. Let me try using the other side of the curve. I'm going to move it. I'm going to just have to move it back. Blend along full path or new path. Blend along full path, rotate all object. There we go. That's what we want. So there's always a way out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to effects. No, excuse me, go to object. Break the blend apart so I can get rid of that line. But I'm going to group these together, control G. Now, if I had not have moved it, it would nudge right there. But I feel pretty confident that we can put it in there. And see, that's why I maybe should have left the top a little short also. But the original picture that they have, they, they kind of meet. And you could always delete one or two of them. So I'm basically using that inside line for a duplicate side. So Control D and made a duplicate. But of course, I'm going to use the nudge factor now of like 0.01. That might not be fast enough. I'm going to hold down the shift key, make it a little faster. So I'm still going to meet in the middle, but that looks pretty cool. Now, at that time, we could do this. We could change our nudge factor back to like eight inches. And we could nudge these other two out of the way. And then we could weld all this. And that puts it, that's pretty cool. Now, what they did, they just filled in. The opposite, let me make this bigger. And my, you can see my teardrops a little, teardrops a little different. Um, I'm going to just fill it in with blue. That is a, and then if you take it all in right click, no outline, it'll be a lot better. And you could, I kind of like that, uh, kind of joins it all. But that, that's actually worked out really well. And then I don't know what their plan is. If we group that together, you could make, you know, you never know how many times you can rotate it. But if we double click on the rotation and move the rotation of that tip, and let's rotate it. Well, let's make a control D and rotate it. So I've made a duplicate and just rotate it. Well, look, 44, so we can go 45. So now control D. That is a, it's a little bit off. My rotation got a little bit off. Whenever, for some reason, I don't know what it is, when Corel rotates, this one was good. Control D. And we'll go uh, 135. Now it's going to be dead on. They're going to be right in the middle. That's a pretty cool design. I don't know what they've got planned for it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope that helped.